my dogs and cats living together at the Terrier. What's up, you slasher-loving psychos, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I have the granddaddy slasher of them all. It is Mario Bava's 1971 classic, it's Bay of Blood. And this one is just really demented, cruel and unusual, and a hell of a lot of fun. So let's dive into this massacre of a film and see what it has to offer. Here is... A Bay of Blood. A Bay of Blood is a wickedly violent and brutally stylish Italian horror flick, directed by the master of the macabre, Mario Bava. Beautifully shot and mysteriously laid out, this giallo slasher hybrid is a remarkably satisfying little thriller, with picturesque locations and plenty of interesting characters to slash and stab to death. Bound in that lavish bava flavor and brimming with murderous mayhem, A Bay of Blood is a pure classic of the genre and a precursor to the 80s slasher hit Friday the 13th. The film follows the bloody events that occur after a wealthy countess is cruelly strangled to death in her home, triggering a crimson cascade effect of brutal killings and malicious murders, all centered around a quaint Bay Area property and the surrounding areas bringing every opportunistic weirdo out of the woodwork. Strangers and partygoers begin to drop like flies, but who is the killer, and what do they hope to gain? With death on the rise and the body count reaching ridiculous levels, who will be left standing in this gruesome bay of blood? With a penchant for death and a robust cast, a bay of blood definitely stands out among other films of its type showcasing a long list of interesting characters that make for quite a cinematic spectacle. From murderous wretches to hippie free spirits, the cast is packed with personality and wicked charm, which really helps it become a memorable experience that is unlike anything out there. The main players and heavy hitters of this massacre of a flick are Claudio Camasso as Simon, a successful architect and grumpy oddball. Claudia Auger as Renata Donati, a drop-dead gorgeous woman who's mourning the death of her father. Luigi Pistilli as Alberto, Renata's faithful husband and suspicious vagabond. Bridget Skay as Brunhilda, a Croatian party girl whose skinny dipping escapade gets terribly morbid. Leopoldo Tresti as Paul Fazzati. A strange little man whose obsession with insects borders on madness. Laura Betty as Anna Fossati, a peculiar fortune teller who fears the coming bloody murders. Chris Avram as Franco Ventura, an unscrupulous businessman who gets mixed up in this sordid affair. Anna Maria Rosati as Laura, Ventura's sexy secretary and primed victim. And finally, Isa Miranda as Frederica Donati, an elderly and wealthy wheelchair-bound wench whose untimely death kicks all of this carnage into motion. As you can see with the lengthy list of characters, the movie shoves them all into frame only to put them all through the ringer in bloody and torturous ways, making for a film that is paper thin on a traditional narrative and more like a meat grinder of non-stop death. That's really the main pull of A Bay of Blood, and it's the amount of brutal and inventive kills that grace the movie's 84 minute runtime that really make it the cinematic head turner that it is. Devilishly mysterious and altogether manic at its use of red herrings and shady characters. The film thrives in its violent nature and elusive persona, making for a truly unusual bloodbath that relishes in the gore above all else. The locations and peaceful scenery of the picture are a great contrast to the blood and guts that splash onto the screen, and Mario Bava uses every trick in the book to immerse the viewer into this demented, thrilling masterpiece. Whether it's the rich tapestry of gruesome kills, or the robust cast of weird personalities, there's so much to love about this dramatically warped flick. It's got an impressive atmosphere, memorable locations, vibrant gore, and a cast I adore. And what more could you want in an early 70s proto-slasher giallo hybrid? 
in the end, A Bay of Blood is a fantastically vicious and sinfully sensational Italian horror flick that is as mean-spirited and bloodthirsty as they come. And there you have it, you filthy savages. That is the cult classic and ultimate slasher flick that really started the whole thing. That's Mario Bava's A Bay of Blood. Just a really, really, really demented film. Deranged as all hell and totally um, an insatiable bloodlust with all of the deaths and carnage that happens within this film's runtime. Just really great stuff. Totally classic, um, totally brutal like I said, and just a really great atmospheric gem that is one of the cream of the crop of Mario Bava's great flicks. But guys, that is it for me. Uh, I hope you like that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I will see all of you monsters at the next movie review. Take care.